and these ashes that we're standing on right now, we're gonna regrow this facility. We're gonna build it bigger and better than it was. Absolutely. And I think anybody who's in any doubt whatsoever of what this has meant to this neighborhood can see by the outpouring of people that are here today, can see by the, the emotions, the raw emotions that we experienced with this unfortunate incident. Uh, this is ground zero for this community. This is where people come to grow their own food, to meet their own neighbors, to work together, to literally rebuild a community. It's a little emotional for me as well because I grew up right on the street on Yarmouth Drive. I actually still own my place, 84 Yarmouth Drive. I live right down the street on Reservoir. So it was, you know, it was really sad to see this happen, but I'm looking forward to building it bigger and better. Anything I could do, my guys can do. I got a lot of guys ready to come and, and donate time and uh, material, whatever they could do to build it back bigger and better. Thanks. You know, it hits home. You know, uh, we know it's about community and, and we want to be part of rebuilding this. You got two great gentlemen that have uh, Bridgeport companies and, and, and employ people from Bridgeport that are going to help us with this and we're ready to go. Okay. We're ready to go. You know, it takes something like this to see how important a community farm can be. We thought, oh, we're just doing our business. But when something like this happens and the community is devastated and mad and we're going to fix this and we're going to rebuild immediately, then you realize how important it is and that everybody really does care. And it is their farm and, and we all feel connected because of this experience.